this is a block of tofu and this is vegan ground beef made with that block of tofu. It's incredibly easy and relatively cheap and you all know I love my store-bought plant-based meat, but I like this just as much and it's also super versatile. You can totally whip up anything you'd make with regular ground beef. In fact, I made enough for the week and was able to put together a bunch of 10 minute meals. So stick around and I'll show you how easy it is to put this beef to use. And for this recipe, I recommend using either super firm or extra firm tofu. The vacuum sealed super firm ran me about five bucks, whereas the one packed in water costs three bucks. Extra firm was just two dollars. That being said, the vacuum sealed is far more dense, so it most likely evens out, but get whatever works for you. And I didn't bother pressing any of them, I simply just crumbled them as is. You could totally press the extra firm if you wanna, otherwise you can do as I did and just bake it for an extra 10 minutes, but more on that later. Now for the seasonings, I wanted to include two versions, one that uses things like Marmite, browning sauces, and the beefless broth that I use quite often, since these all impart a lot of meaty flavor. But since I know that not everyone can get these, I'll also be making a batch using more common ingredients that I think most of you all should be able to get. So for the first one, let's make the marinade starting with two to three tablespoons of soy sauce. I would start off with two and add more later as needed. Then we're gonna do one teaspoon of the beefless broth, one teaspoon of Marmite, half a teaspoon of liquid smoke, one teaspoon of kitchen bouquet or gravy master, two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, AKA nooch, half a teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of smoked paprika, and then two tablespoons of neutral oil and two tablespoons of water. Whisk that up and then let's toss that into our crumbled tofu and make sure we coat it thoroughly. And now a cool benefit to this not being animal based is you can taste it now for seasoning. So go ahead and do that, but keep in mind the flavors will also get more concentrated when we bake it. Speaking of which, let's add it to a sheet pan. I lined mine with parchment paper and sprayed it with cooking oil because I'm paranoid, but just spread out your tofu crumbles in a single layer like so. And we're gonna bake that at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees Celsius for about 20 to 30 minutes or until the crumbles are dried out and a little browned. Give them a taste again and then next let's rehydrate them. So add them to a pan along with one cup of liquid, either water or broth. Mine tasted perfect as is, so if I could turn back time, if I could find a way, I would have just rehydrated them with plain water as they came out just a little too salty. Now you may be asking, Burger Dude, we just baked them to dry them out, why are you rehydrating them? Well, baking them changes the texture and concentrates the flavor. Rehydrating keeps that texture, but adds a little bit more moisture, so it's not like eating flavored dirt. I will say if you're planning on using these in something like a bolognese or a sloppy joe, you can probably skip this rehydrating step, but if you're gonna do something like tacos or a rice dish, then this is a good move. Either way, we're gonna simply reduce the liquid down until our beef crumbles look something like that. And at this point, taste and adjust for your final seasoning and you should be good to go. And now for the version with more common ingredients. It's quite simple. We're still gonna do two to three tablespoons of soy sauce, one teaspoon of veggie stock concentrate instead of beefless broth. Instead of Marmite, we can use steak sauce. And yes, A1 is accidentally plant-based, so let's do one tablespoon of steak sauce, half a teaspoon of liquid smoke, one teaspoon vegan what's this here sauce. After that, it's basically the same as before, two tablespoons of nooch, half a teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon each of garlic powder and smoked paprika, two tablespoons each of neutral oil and water, and then for some more umami, one heaping tablespoon of tomato paste. Then it's exactly the same. Whisk and coat your tofu crumbles and bake. This time I'm doing the extra firm, so it took about 40 minutes to get the texture I was looking for. Then we're gonna rehydrate it just the same, and there you go. And these do taste a bit different, but they are equally good in my book, so do whichever you can, or mix and match. That's ultimately what I ended up doing, and this is what three blocks of tofu will get you. You can even meal prep by making this in bulk and then using throughout the week to make whatever you like. In fact, the first thing I made was some tacos. So I just heated up some tortillas and then added some of our tofu beef, seasoned it with cumin, chipotle powder, oregano, and some lime juice. Top it with some onions, cilantro, and some hot sauce, more lime, and I gotta say, these hit the spot just as good as any taco truck I used to frequent, and they came together in about five minutes. Next that week was some sloppy joes, so we're gonna toast our buns, and I highly suggest toasting your buns for sloppy joes to avoid soggy city. After that, we're gonna add our tofu ground beef and cook that for a bit, and then let's just add in some manwich, and yes, manwich is also accidentally plant-based as well. If you wanna make some sloppy joe mix from scratch, I have a sloppy joe video, link in the description for that. 
But we just gotta heat that through and then let's spread a little vegan mayo on our bottom bun and then some sloppy joe time. I like to do some diced onions and pickled jalapenos on top, but top it however you like. And now the buns didn't get soggy, but sloppy joes are gonna sloppy joe. These days I prefer to wrap my sloppy joe up with some deli paper, just fold it into a triangle and then wrap it up like a little baby and there you go. And now you can eat your sloppy joe without half of it ending up on the plate. Next up was a quick Korean barbecue inspired dish. I literally just heated up some of the beef and added this kogi sauce, which I also use for some tacos as well. And this was just super dang good and quick to whip up too. Last but not least, a bolognese rigatoni. All I did was heat up the beef, add some Italian seasoning and red pepper flakes, some of my favorite jarred marinara, and then some cooked rigatoni, some parsley and basil, vegan Parmesan, and this was just a big fat chef's kiss. So as you can see, this tofu ground beef is just super smart, easy, delicious, and cheap to make. And you can seriously just make a bunch and use it however you'd like. And if you want some more recipes, check out this playlist I put together where you can use it. So I really hope y'all make it. And if you do, let me know how it goes. And until then, I'll see you all next time.